UNC and Duke are tied atop the ACC right now. 12-3, and 12-3 and three in the Atlantic Coast Conference, which makes every game from this point forward wildly important. UNC is going to Charlottesville tomorrow to play UVA. And somehow they have to avoid the mystical, magical the impact that Tony Bennett and UVA have on teams that go play particularly uh, in Charlottesville. It, it always feels to me, uh, for my, my literary fans out there, like there's a bit of uh, the Odyssey going on. Are you familiar with the Odyssey, Dennis? I had to read it in Ulysses, high school. Ulysses. Absolutely. Uh, the land with the lotus eaters where he shows up and he starts eating these these lotuses and then all of a sudden time stays still and mm-hmm. he doesn't realize that he's been there for like a year. He feels like he's been there for like a day because it's time is all warped. I feel like that's playing in Charlottesville. You go there, you start getting dragged down and time moves at a different speed in UVA and you think like, oh, it's almost halftime. We have 45 points. And it's like, no, the game's over in two minutes. You have 45 points. You have to go score. And and you have to find a way not to be impacted by that or else you're going to lose like, you know, 53-51. UVA is going to try to slow down the pace and do what they do to everyone. And, and basically what that does is it puts even more of an emphasis, even more importance on something that UNC, when they were struggling for that, that two-week, three-week stretch, what they struggled with, which is it puts more emphasis on efficiency. You're going to have less possessions than you're used to. So you need to make sure you are making the most of those possessions with high-efficiency shots. That means what? That means... R.J. Davis shooting threes because analytics love threes, especially open threes to good shooters, and as close to the bucket as you can get. That's Armando Baycott and Harrison Ingram. Those, that's you know the the uh, the James Harden of it all. Remember those Rockets teams where they're like, we shoot threes and we shoot layups. We we shoot nothing in between. That's all it is. That's more important against UVA because you're going to have less possession, so you can't go. I'm going to take six shots to get into rhythm, and then I'm going to you know, finally get my volume scoring up. It's like, I don't know if that's going to work against this team. UVA is super athletic, versatile on defense. Not the biggest team, right? You're not going to see a bunch of seven-footers. You're not going to have a bunch of 6'10", 6'11 guys, but they are wildly athletic and versatile as they usually are. Reese Beekman, who's probably an all-ACC player this year, is the reigning ACC defensive player of the year. Ryan Dunn, I believe, is a pretty good shot about uh, of being the ACC defensive player of the year this year. Both of them will eventually have NBA careers. Now, that doesn't mean they're not UVA players, which means even they are interested in dragging this one into the mud, right? Even if you're one of the best athletes in the conference, you're still like, yeah, but... What if I just punch you in the face and turn this into a street fight? Oh, perfect. That's what we love to do. That's what UVA does. But Armando Baycott, as we've been saying the last few weeks, should be able to get something going inside. And also should have some pent-up rage and aggression towards UVA. Right? Obviously, the, the ACC tournament loss. They haven't won in Charlottesville since January of 2013. And I know it might feel like Armando Baycott has been there that whole time. He's only been here about half the time since they, they their last win in Charlottesville. 2013 is a long time in, in college basketball standards. Also, uh, Baycott hurt his ankle yes, or yesterday, last year, uh, in U, uh, uh, when they played UVA. Yeah, played that's Played like right. one or two minutes, like literally that quick, hurt his ankle. So there's, there's some history here, right? There's some history here. I think you remind him of that, and then you let him eat down low. This game should be Harrison Ingram, Armando Baycott, down low, R.J. Davis, and if it needs to be Cormac Ryan shooting threes, but there's there's not enough shots to go around when if UVA is able to drag you down into the mud, if they're able to drag you down into the quicksand. If you're able to get out and run and up their tempo, first of all, 
uh, remember how you did it and and keep it in mind for future future games because there's not many teams that find out how to do that. If you're going to hit all of your shots, that's one thing. But but you know, let's let's not go ahead and plan for right. So I, if we like you know Virginia Tech smoked UVA earlier this year, mm-hmm. a lot of that was just Virginia Tech hit a whole bunch of shots and and yeah, that's pri- plan plan A. Okay, <laughs> plan A is to. Just make difficult and 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 contested shots at a high level. If you're not going to do that, you're going to have to be more intentional. And if that's your game plan, then I should probably be a Division One coach. If it's just like <laughs> today, we shall hit our shots. Everybody got that? Nailed it. Hands in. <laughs> Team on three. Like that. It's it's got to be more than that. So yeah, it's just it's a shot selection thing. More so against UVA than against most teams. Uh, shot. Shot selection matters because you're not going to have as as much. I know that North Carolina, they like to play with tempo. They like to play with, with mm-hmm. pace. I think the key for them is obviously they want you to play fast, but because Virginia can frustrate you so much, don't play frantic, if that makes sense. Because it, like the, the desire to play quick, sometimes you can get frantic and really get out of control. That's where turnovers start happening, and that's where you really start letting UVA dictate. There's a difference between playing fast and playing frantic. I think that's really the fine line that, you've, uh, that UNC has to find. It's, it's, um, it's really a, a rhythm thing, right? Because, like, just look at the shot clock. If UVA is using up your whole shot clock and you're taking a shot in six seconds, mm-hmm quickly adds up to them having the ball for like five minutes to your 30 seconds. Yeah, you're right? playing and, a lot of defense. And it's it's and your offense isn't in a rhythm, right? You you need to uh get motion going. You need to get a couple post entry passes. You need to get a couple kickouts, a couple screens set. You need to make them work on defense or, or or else it's you know it's no different than you know I know I, I relate a lot back to football, but I think it just makes sense. If you're going three and out and they're going 12 play drives even if the score isn't dramatically different, those are body blows that are just going to add up. Your offense is going to have no rhythm. Their offense is at least getting field goals and, and being out there and, and tiring out your defense. Unless 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 you're scoring in those six seconds, and then therefore you're forcing Virginia to have to play at your pace in order to keep up. It's, yeah, it's just a risk, yeah. right? Because then that's just making shots. Like yeah. If you're just getting up and making shots, that's always plan A. Plan A is don't miss. Plan B, which is usually the one you need to lean on, is what happens if you're not making every shot you take. That's when game plan and scouting report and everything come into play. UNC, let me let me say this point blank for my UNC fans out there. If RJ Davis is flame throwing, if Baycott's playing well down low, if Cormac's hitting his shots, I mean Ingram, if he's com- contributing from three, it doesn't matter if you're in Charlottesville or if you're in in I don't Lithuania. It doesn't matter if you're playing UVA or a local high school team. Like you're gonna win because you're just you have talent. The 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 thing is. UVA does a pretty good job at making teams not look their best, and and if they're going to do that, if they're going to turn it into a rock fight, be prepared to win the rock fight. 